welcome back it's the investor guy once again today was stormy weather for the cryptocurrency congregation Woo! i don't know how we survived that but hey by his grace we surely did i mean it's something to think about right now i'm gonna go over our position right now and a few insights before i do that i want to thank you for being here remember in the description below we have our number one source for financial literacy investing stocks forex options cryptocurrency and what have you depending on what it is amazing empowering you know all across the board you scroll down whether you have an iphone you know apple tv or android t or android type tv uh roku and amazon is coming soon but listen it is simple that if you want to be empowered with some really empowering financial literacy and to activate your wealth creation conscientious capital tv this is what we are about empowering people now Here's something I want to share, right? Having a coach, a mentor, a, you know, teachers, that is powerful for entrepreneurs. You know, a little bit different today than just a positive quote. Of course, I believe whatever you, uh, you know, when, when it rains, you got to buckle down and, uh, and ride through it, right? But here's the thing. As an entrepreneur, now consider, even if you're a trader, even if you decide to do trading or what, whatever's real estate, whatever it is, um, and even your job, consider operating like an entrepreneur, like bringing value to the table, right? So entrepreneurs need a mix of coaching, mentoring, not just passive teaching. And so when you see the videos on YouTube and we're just sharing information uh, to motivate, to inspire, um, not to provide financial advice, but to just let you see the journey transparently, how transparently, how we're going through it. Teachers give us lessons, right? Mentors point us in the right direction. Coaches push us to be the best we can possibly be. It all starts with you. So, you know, whether it's raining or sunshine, as I always say, you know, you can shine from within, even in dark days like it is today. Um, just to say, you know, what's happened today, there's been uh, some stuff going on in, uh, you know, um, like Hong Kong saying that only millionaires could trade, uh, may end up being able to trade cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, but a regular citizen will not be able to. This, those type of things, you know, FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, and doubt is like, you know, hitting everything. And also, uh, the in, in the U.S., they're proposing that exchanges and everyone is responsible for sharing every cryptocurrency transaction, 10,000 and up, similar to banks, which is really funny to me because uh, <laughs> the cryptocurrency was created by the people. Uh, and of course, you know, when people are in positions of power, uh, that could be threatening to have something independent of you know whatever controls the masses right uh not you know not a finance not financial and not political whatever it is it is what it is uh so at the same time you know cryptocurrency was not supposed to be currency but uh it's being treated pretty much like currency <laughs> by the governments right and as a threat as well not as innovation that can move humanity forward but as something uh that threatens their position uh of absolute power above us right the one percent gotta love them right 99 percent of the population bows down to one percent uh and you know behaves accordingly all right moon rat here we are this is like i said it's been a day numbers are down but starting with 50 billion because we're holding our number continues to increase this number 0.01339776 that is as low as i seen this uh i mean that's as low as i seen it it might have been lower but i really wasn't looking at it i guess uh this is pretty low but you know what 
it's an opportunity for some, and I'm sure many within our group are taking advantage of the dip in order to acquire more of whatever token they think is going to be there in the future giving value. Uh, this liquidity pool is lower than it was yesterday. And uh, yeah, you know, we could ride it out. I mean, I'm riding out the storm and my numbers are increasing. So it's operating as it should. Uh, they're working on a few things, like I said before, uh, with previous video. Yesterday, I believe we talked about 43,000 up for grabs. Any uh, person in the, in the space who wants to, you know, take them up in their hackathon. Um, and so other things are coming as well. And we definitely now it's the 21st. We're two days away from collecting uh, our, you know, share of BNB in this amazing space, <laughs> regardless if it's uh, rating or sunshine. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, yes, uh, taxes and those things are going to be what they are. Well, unless, you know, the people decided like, hey, you know, we got to do things a little different. But until then, they are what they are. So, you know, I look at it like this. If I made a dollar and I have to give, uh, you know, uh, you know, give the, the government uh, 50 cents of that, it's just what it is. If I want a dollar, then I'm going to have to, you know, ride with my crypto colleagues until I got two bucks. And then they get a dollar and I still have a dollar that I want. So that's just how it is, you know, it is what it is. What can you say? What can you do? All I can say now is let's keep it moving. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you being here. It means so much to me, so much to, you know, my colleagues like Streeter and uh, Tiffany and others. It means so much to us when you share what we're doing in order to increase the number of the community and spread the love. The Investor Guy signing off. Deuces.